Hello, it's Sarah, and today I wanted to do an ATC share. I uh, created a couple of mixed media ATCs last night, and I want to share those, but real quick, Jill, thank you so much. I just wanted to give a shout out to Jill. Um, she's Stampyra on YouTube, and she made me this beautiful birthday card, and I just, you know, nothing makes getting older better. That's what I sent her than some happy mail, um, and this is so, I honestly... I can't, t I mean, it's so smooth and so well done. I mean, I can tell it's paper pieced, but Jill, you did such a beautiful job on this card, and I really, really, really do appreciate it. I love it. Thank you so, so much. So I just wanted to send out a little sh extra shout out to Jill. Um, I did a swap with um, Linda, who is Birdie. Let me check her. 2107, I think it is, Birdie on YouTube. 2107, yeah. She uh, wanted to do an altered ATC, like a, a mixed media ATC swap. So I was like, yeah, I'll do that because I haven't done that in a while and I love to pull out um, my goodies. Um, so this is what she sent me. She sent it in one of the um, the little, I want to say, I think I got some before at a Hobby Lobby they sell these. They're the little file folders, mini file folders. So she decorated that, put she did a video on this on her um, channel, um, and I, I forget what these are. These are those um, art dolls. I can't think of the name. It's a certain style. So it looks like she had a lot of fun. It says she made, and Birdie, I love this, created for you by Linda. She has her own stamp, and I've seen that before. A couple of you guys have your own little customized stamps, which I'm going to have to see. And then here's her ATC. She did a little cottage and some little people on there, super cute. And this looks like like there's a little, um, uh, sh what are they called, shadow leaf behind it. It kind of looks like a tree. And there's definitely like all kinds of goodies behind here. Like there's glitter and what am I trying to say, like paste, some type of texture paste that she put on there. And it's on um, corrugated card. So she kind of did a good job of mixed media, I would say. There's a lot going on there. And looks like she edged it with some bronze or So a lot going on. Thank you, Birdie. I love it. And then last night, I made these. And I, I was really, I really had so much fun. But because I had these little um, micro beads out, I, I've seen people put them on... Um, dominoes and stuff so I was like oh I'm gonna do that so all I did that was like the the new thing I did I just took some of my dimensional magic and made a little kind of like drip and just poured the beads on and I'll tell you what it stuck so fast and easy it was so easy so that's just one of the things I definitely you can't see everything you do um I I collaged the whole back with a bunch of different papers um, and then gessoed on top. I painted a little bit. I did some Martha Stewart pink pearl and some blue, which you can't really see anymore. Um, and then I stamped a little bit. I embossed a little bit. Um, and then it all kind of gets covered up with your focal uh, piece. So she is a little uh, downloadable that the, I just got, let's see. This is a collage sheet that I'm kind of using up now and it's by Creative Scraps, Crafty Secrets. That's the um, the paper line. And I'm pretty sure I got this at the ATC store a while back. And you know what's funny is the back side is just as pretty. I mean, there's fairies all over it. There's butterflies. Oh my gosh. Like now that I'm seeing them. But I did end up cutting pieces from the, from the collage part. Um, so that's what I used for that. And then I had these printables. These are from paperwhimsy.com. Um, I think I saw these on, um, wow, I love her and I can't think of her name at the top of my head. She's English and she does a lot of awesome videos. Anyway, so I used her for my for this one, the wings are from the collage sheet, the burr is from the collage sheet. This is just one of the Tim Holtz tickets. And then I blinged our crown is from the collage sheet and I put pearls and isn't it cute? But Birdie, I think this one's for you. Yep. 
because um, I put the little bird for Birdie. She was holding a book, but I think it turned out so cute. So cute. And then I just put gold paint. I had I put gold paint on my finger and just kind of rubbed it around the edges to pull the um, the embossing, which got all covered up. It's a shame because like I actually really love just the collaging on the background because like I, d I used music paper. You can't even see it. Like in one of the here's music. There's a little bit of music notes. But that's why I went with the music wings. Anyway, and then this one is super cute. There was a cat and a dog on there, and there were these hearts. So see, you can see the music stamp there, the embossed music. Um, basically the same thing. I did the same thing to both, and then I just collaged different um, focal pieces, and I did the beads again. Look how cool the micro beads look. I love it. Um, Tim, no, this is just a love stamp that I made a banner with. I had these, like I keep these, I have a bunch of words like all in here that are already cut out. Um, and then I can just go to that and um, if I want a word. And I just stickled their, their neck decorations. And um, the other thing was I did use my pit pens to shade a little bit behind. And then I used, this is the, um, the pen I use is the Scarlet Lime, who is um, Christy Tomlinson. Um, I got this from her store, and it just really writes well on um, when you do a lot of like mod. I just use Mod Podge, so it writes well on backgrounds like that. So that's why I use this all the time. It's getting kind of cruddy. Um, so basically the same thing. These little wings I've had in my stash for forever, and I just thought they played into that heart so cute. So it was so fun, Birdie. Thank you so much for um, doing this swap with me because, uh, oh, and one more thing. I, too, she sent me some of the envelope or envelopes, I keep calling it envelope, the file folders, and all I did to mine was cover both sides with a uh, napkin, not this napkin. It was more of a, um, it was a little more mixed, had some writing and some, but I just loved the butterflies and the color was good. Um, and so, and then I just stickled the butterflies on the front and I put create. So this will go right in there and I'm going to stick it in an envelope and off it will go to you, Birdie. So thank you so much again. It was so fun. And you guys, I'm not done with my fuse. I've just plugged it in again. I also have another um, thing I want to try. Then I'll come back and share. But um, I saw a cool video last night and I want to try what she did. It has to do with a laminator. Not the mink, but just um, anyhow. Um, all right, you guys, that's it. Thanks for watching.